Good morning. Hello, hello. So it is like 5.30 in the morning, not kidding, filming this for you. So enjoy. What's worse than realizing your days are slipping by, whether you're busy at work or busy as a stay-at-home mom, and all of a sudden you forgot Valentine's Day? And don't worry. I have some cheap ideas for you. So, if you have a wine lover, this little tumbler is a wine sippy cup. It's plastic, insulated, Dollar Tree, one dollar. So, I'm sure your little wine lover will have no clue and will love to get use out of this. Pick this up, maybe, you know, if your budget allows it, a small bottle of wine. There you go. Valentine's Day done. Now whether you're celebrating by yourself, you can get yourself a gift because I'm all about self-love. Gotta love yourself before you can love others. Or coworkers. Or even a mom. So, if you're in a more professional setting, you don't really know somebody well enough to get them anything too personable. This bad boy is my favorite pen and it came in a group of five and it was on the clearance at Staples for 75 cents. Add a nice piece of paper, a little notepad, and there you go. Voila. Happy Valentine's Day. And they have no clue how much you spent, so why not? Now, I'm a coffee lover. Okay, let's get real. I'm a big coffee lover. During one of my planner groups that I'm in, um, Secret Sisters, I got this mug that says, no talkie before coffee. I like gifts you can use, not gifts that are just going to like take up clutter. So a coffee tumbler with, or a coffee sampler set, perfect inexpensive gifts. Gifts are not about how much you spend, but how much thought went into it. And you know, you can write these cute little notes. My husband's hard to shop for. So, this past Christmas, and not going to lie, probably going to do it again for Valentine's Day, I got him his favorite college team, blankets. And you know why? Because I like to cuddle. So, it's a gift for him, but really I benefit too. Brand new cuddly blanket. And he freaking loved it and has used it plenty of times. Um, right now, locally, there was a huge clearance on Star Wars. OMG, my, my husband and my mother-in-law were all excited and sure enough I got him a bunch of stuff 75% off. He didn't care about the price, he cared that I thought about him, that I loved him. Um, occasionally I'll wake up before him, occasionally, <laughs> and I'll write on little post-it notes, good morning, I love you. Just wanted to let you know I love you. Have a great day. I don't do it often, which keeps him kind of guessing and it's all cute. So my point of this video is, is you can come up with cheap gifts that come from the heart and not all these, I got diamonds or oh my gosh, I don't, I, I'm on a tight budget, I don't know what to get. Think of what the person likes. If somebody likes food, go for a little small food package and create it yourself. Don't be afraid to step outside the Valentine's Day box of roses and chocolate. Step up and really pay attention to what does that person like. What, you know, if they like makeup, you can get them an elf set and you can create your own elf makeup set for them for 10 bucks. Go to the store, pick out a bunch of dollar, three dollar items and create it yourself. It doesn't always have to be 100, 200, 300. And more importantly, try and focus on stuff that they can actually use and not stuff that's going to just take up clutter. Because that is the last thing we need is something to dust over. So I hope you have a fantastic Valentine's Day weekend. I hope you like this video. If you do, thumbs up. Because quite frankly, I'm all about loving cheap stuff that means a lot to people. Have a great day. Happy Valentine's Day. Bye.